you even went to Harvard and Yale. I mean, you must be a grind as a child in getting good grades. <laughs> Not really. I was a, uh, I, I was intermittently a good student, and um, luckily for me, I was, um, I went to boarding school the last two years of high school, and uh, I was. Um, you know, I was not socially sophisticated at this boarding school. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was a little bit lonely. And as a result, um, I, I just worked really, really hard. Um, and so I, I, I finished, I finished my, my secondary education strong. And um, that was, that was a help. But um, I've, I've had a spotty, a spotty career as a student. Okay, uh, it's great because usually it's the end part that really matters and it's great to hear that right. you nailed it. And do correct me if I'm wrong, I even read that your father was dissatisfied with the current education system and they developed their sort of own school in which you got to study. Is that right? Yes, that was in the 70s. Um, yeah, you know, it was a kind of classic uh, counterculture move. Um, they, they, my parents and a bunch of other parents, you know, they were all university professors. It was a bunch of mm -hmm. university professors. So they tend to be very liberal um, and very interested in education. And they were sort of frankly disgusted with the, uh, with the public schools and the way that the classes are being taught. They thought, you know, they thought that a lot of the teachers were just kind of phoning it in and um, that it was, it was overly conventional and not very imaginative and they and not relevant um and mm -hmm. so uh they started they founded their own school it was called a free school and um there were no literally no rules uh there were no or i shouldn't say there were no rules there were no there was no set curriculum and so it was really up to the students to decide what classes they wanted to take and whether or not they wanted to take classes and uh and it was completely democratic uh every decision had to be made by the parents and the students together, we all had to vote. So it was exhausting. The, the, the you know running that kind of a democracy mm. is very messy and very very inefficient. Um, and we, uh, you know, the, I would say the first three months when we started was just chaos. Nobody took any classes. Uh, the students, <laughs> the kids, all we just played um, <laughs> because they were because we weren't required to. But then yeah. you know an interesting thing happened after about three months. We all got a little bored. And um, and then we started classes, and the classes really came from the students. The students, mm. you know, would go to the group of students. Would you know? I remember one of the classes I took was on Shakespeare, um, where we acted and we read plays and discussed them. And that really came from somebody ask, posing a question about Shakespeare, or I think maybe saying he didn't understand Shakespeare, and so mm -hmm. you know, a class ended up being formed around that. Another yeah. class was on the American Revolution, um, and we decided. You know, we decided early on not to read any history books, only to read the original documents, because we decided the history books were too biased. Yeah. So we only we only read documents, original documents from from the American Revolution, and we 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 conducted the class that way. It was a lot of work, um, <laughs> but but it was it was it was an exciting time to be a you know a, a fourteen year old or whatever I was. True. To be honest, it sounds so much cooler than my school. <laughs> All those uh, practical learning which went through because currently, yeah. I believe there's a lot that should be done with education system and it has totally become sort of mundane and there are very yeah. few education systems le left that are that effective or any new painting you are working on. <laughs> let's see. Well, I'm working on, I'm working on one. Uh, let's see if you can see it, right? <laughs> Yeah, I can see right here it on my shoulder. Yes, it's not quite finished yet, but I'm working on that. I, are you sure uh, it's a live painting or is it a printout? No, no, it's a painting. It's oil. <laughs> it seems it's so. Painting. It looks so perfect. Yeah, uh, it's not perfect, but thank you. 